welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a quick kind of, um, I guess a haul video from a recent trip I took to Washington DC. So I just have a few items to kind of share with you. The first come from a Japanese bookstore that's actually not even based in Washington DC, but they were present at an event that I was at. And so I picked up a few items from there. Um, and I'll just show you the list of where they are located. So, you know, pretty much everywhere else except where I live and where I was, but they were present at this event. So I did stop by, see what they had and picked up a couple of things. Um, and I'm fully intending on visiting them in 20, well, what the, I guess in 2020, the next time I'm in New York. So they included this adorable little bookmark, um, with that character on it and I actually don't know who the character is um but I thought that was a really cute little in freebie that they gave me um I also picked up this pin little kitty cat pin um if you've not seen my um pencil pouch before it's covered in pins and um, enamel pins and um <clears throat> I really like picking them up to kind of uh, bear in mind not bear in mind, but to kind of remember where I've been and the experiences that I've had there. So I thought this was super cute. <clears throat> I also picked up this key ring. Um, my last key ring on my keys broke and I don't usually have a whole bunch of stuff on my keys, but having a key ring is nice. So I went ahead and picked up one of these. I thought that was just adorable. Um, so I picked up that. And then the last thing I got from them was this notebook this Hello Kitty notebook. Um, it's actually a date book, but it um, only has the months in it. Um, I bullet journal, but I don't like to use my bullet journal for like work notes and in meetings. I have a different notebook for that, um, mostly because I bring my bullet journal home and I really don't wanna look at meeting notes when I'm at home. So I thought this was a nice, um, adorable notebook that I could have with me in my work bag um, if I'm at a meeting to kind of, um, add dates as they come up and then add them to my bullet journal when I get home. And it does have a note section in the back with really adorable paper. So the next place that I was at was I went to the Smithsonian Museum of the American Indian, and I definitely wanted to stop by their, um, by their shop and pick up a few things. And I'm actually missing one of the items I picked up. And I wonder if a cat took it. Um, let me just double check. Oh, wait, here it is. It's in the bag still. <laughs> so I went to the Museum of the American Indian and I had a, it was wonderful. It was really well done and you should definitely go check it out. But I stopped by their gift shop to pick up a few things. Some were gifts for family members. So they're not actually in this, in this pile, but these are the things I picked up for myself. The first was a pin with gorgeous beadwork on it. Um, again, which will go onto my um, pencil pouch just kind of as a memory of where I was. Um, and um, it actually also reminds me when I was a kid, um, I grew up in Alabama and we have this um, place called, it's an archaeological site called Moundville. Um, and they sold things like this with, not with these designs, but um, similar kind of beadwork, which um, I don't know, just kind of reminded me of being a kid. So I went ahead and picked that up for my for my pencil pouch. I also picked up a few postcards. Um, I do post crossings and I send postcards out and I always have this box just filled to the brim with postcards for whenever I need them. They're great for happy mail. Okay, I apologize. I'm working with a, a new phone actually and it the video timed out for some reason. So anywho, but I have a large collection of postcards and so I picked up a few extras. The first is this gorgeous um, frog and does it have the artist's name on it? Yeah, Corey W, I can't even read it through the camera, Mores. Um, and it gives us a really nice little quote here um, from Vancouver. It's, so this card is from Canada. Um, but I just thought that was really nice. Um, definitely gonna save this to send this to somebody. Um, although I might, I don't know, I might take a picture of it for my for my actual journal. I don't know yet, we'll see. And then I picked up two Day of the Dead cards um, <clears throat> which I thought were just gorgeous. Um, and they're by the same artist, if I recall. I'll flip them over in a second and check. 
Javier, nope, yes, yes they are, Javier Ramos Lucano, uh, born in Mexico, so I picked up those as well, and then I picked up actual cards. These I do not necessarily have any intention of um, sending to anybody. They're mostly for me. I wanted to put one up on my wall and then I wanted to use one to kind of reflect on um, my time in the museum. I just thought these were gorgeously done. And these are also by the same art of, uh, artist, uh, Daniel Ramirez. So I thought this was, this is called the Butterfly Dance and that is just gorgeous. Um, and then I also got this one, uh, also by Daniel Ramirez, and this one is called The Wild, the Wild Flower Dancers. Um, <clears throat> these are just so beautiful. I think I'll probably put this one in my journal to journal with, and I think I'll put this one up on my wall. The last thing I got was this box of cards, and it's a box of Owl's Inuit art from uh, Cape Dorset. And there are 20 note cards, 20 envelopes, and there are four designs. So I actually haven't looked at all the designs yet, but I loved, I loved the box. I loved the artwork on the top, so I thought this was really cute. I will probably use some of these for journaling, but I will also probably, um, oh, this is nice. Ugh, okay, so now I have to read this. <laughs> so Canadian Arctic Territory of Nunavut. Artist of Cape Dorset, limited edition art print since 1959. Oh, these are just gorgeous. Okay, definitely putting this in my journal um, to keep that. <laughs> but uh, so <clears throat> I think I said five of four designs, 20 cards total. I'll just pull these out so we can see the next one. Um, so that one's gorgeous. Oh, this one's just beautiful. I love owls. Owls are, I, I don't know, I just like them a lot. They symbolize a lot for me. They're my second favorite bird. My first favorite bird is the vulture <laughs> um, because the vultures serve such a huge purpose in the world. But anywho, um, these are just gorgeous prints. So I'll probably end up, I also have a huge card collection because I do send a lot of cards in the mail. Um, some to like as thank you cards. I write graduation cards for my students. Um, oh, this might be my favorite. Um, and then, um, you know, to have on hand for Happy Meal. So I might use these, some of these for this. I might use some of these for artwork, put them up on my wall, but these are just gorgeous cards. And then there are the envelopes and this box is just gorgeous too. So that's it. That's the haul from Washington, DC. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just a quick video.